Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then welcome. My name is Sarah and this is Freddie. Say hello. Hello. Take your dummy out. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and today's video is um, what I'm putting in the children's book advent calendar. Um, next week, well, I'm not Sarah, I'm Mummy. <laughs> I'm not Sarah, I'm Mummy. Oh, I'm Mummy. Um, um, as of Saturday, I will be hoping to do Vlogmas. My job, my warm. Mummy's warm? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, obviously from Saturday, being the 1st of December, um, I will be starting a book advent with the children. <coughs> oh dear. We've got a very poorly sausage, haven't we? Very poorly. You're poorly, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't do this last year or the year before, mainly because, um, well, the first year Freddie was only um, eight months old, so I thought it was probably a bit too advanced for him then. And then last year. Hey there. And then last year Ivy was only three months old, so she couldn't exactly. Um, get involved either so I, I just wanted to wait till they could both do it so this year is the first year we're doing a book advent but we are also going to be having um, chocolate as well and um, so they'll be getting chocolate and a book but I thought I would show you what I've got for them and um, I know quite a lot of people are aware you can get um, deals on books um, I use a company called The Book People, they are online and they also come to um, businesses and leave books for you to look at and then order, which is how I found out about them when I used to um, work and you can you don't have to be a business, I, I still order from them online um, but that's where I got these book packages from and I've also taken um, some Christmas slash winter books that we already have um, I took them out of the children's bedroom um, a couple of months ago and stashed them away so that they kind of forgot about them, although he has noticed them on the floor um, and said, I've got that upstairs. <laughs> but, upstairs? Yeah. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to wrap them and we're going to stick on these numbered stickers that I got from eBay and they go all the way up to 24. You're going to help me stick them on, aren't you? Because what we're going to do is wrap all these books and then Mummy's going to send them off to Father Christmas and they're going to come back with the elf, aren't they? And then we'll obviously read one story or one book that we open that night because he has about three or four stories. So that'll be one of the stories. And then we can read that to Ivy as well. So shall we show everybody what books we've got? Yeah. Okie dokie. Three. Three. Okay. So those of you that may be counting, you'll notice that I do have more than the 24 um, books. And that's because some of the books that we've already got aren't very long. They're um, maybe like five pages with a sentence per <coughs> page. Um, so I thought that wasn't exactly fair. So I'm going to pop those in with um, other books um, and had double up so I'll double up towards the end as it as we get closer to Christmas but what I will do is show you the first pack of 10 books that I ordered from the book people and they are the Christmas Can wishes pack and you get them oh. in this okay. cute little bag that's got uh, penguins on one side and a polar bear on the other and it comes with a little penguin keyring that's going to be fun to argue over and um, yeah so these aren't in any particular order like this, this is literally how I've just taken them out of the pack so the first one we've got is the stinky sprouts in a rather smelly Christmas tale and it says in a faraway kitchen the vegetables play games and have fun together but the stinky sprouts are always left out so one day the sprouts try to hide their stench and make friends with the coolest group will they find a way to cover their smell or will their plan reek of disaster? Find out in this funny festive story perfect for adults and children to read together at Christmas. And this is written by Rosie Greening and what I'll try and do is I will link you to the Book People website and... It's itchy. You're itchy, you're getting hot, are you darling? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look, we haven't got any 
Well, do you want to get off mummy a little bit? You want to go play? Put the stickers down and you want to go play for a little bit? Yeah. Go on then. Because you're getting warm on me, aren't you? Um, what I will do is leave a link. Yeah, be quiet though, darling. Nice and quietly because you don't want to wake Ivy up, do you? Yeah, okay. Um, I will put a link to the Book People website and I will try and find the link to the exact packs that I bought um, if I can because I did get these at the beginning of November so they may um, not have them on their website anymore um, and what I will also try and do for you is see if I can link the individual books just in case some of the books that I show you you may already have um, and you might want to just top up or you might want one specific book um, I don't know if any of them have got any specific names on them, but if your child has that name and you want that book, I don't know. I'll try and link them below if I can. If not, I will definitely give you the Book People website anyway. But let's go on to the next book. <laughs> so the next one is Twas the Night Before Christmas, the standard. This one will obviously be wrapped up for the 24th. Um, and just in case those of you are not aware of the story, Twas the Night Before Christmas, the house... Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, that is, until Santa comes to visit. Snuggle up with your loved ones and revisit the classic Christmas tale. And that one, that particular one, because I know some um, Night Before Christmases are, are quite um, old-fashioned illustrations, um, that wouldn't interest my two at all, so I'm quite glad that this is a fun um, illustration. And this particular book is um, the original poem by Clement Clark Moore, illustration by... Claire Fennel, but yeah, I'll try and find the links for those who. Oh, bless you! Um, and then the next book we've got is the Twelve Days of Christmas. I love this um, song. I sing it to Ivy every night when we put her to sleep, um, so she should know this off by heart. But it looks like it features. I don't know if. I mean, I would have said rabbits, but I don't know. What do you think? Are they rabbits? They've not got, like, bits coming off to be reindeers, so... Oh, yeah, here we go. Join Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Should have read it first, shouldn't I? As they count through the 12 days of Christmas, rhyming text and beautiful hand-stitched illustrations make this an ideal book for parents and young children to share. Illustrated by Kate Toms. So I think that's lovely. And then the next book is very similar to that one, but it's Santa's 12 days of Christmas. Let's just see... Yeah, so it's not the actual song, which that one is. It's just what he does in the 12 days leading up, which I think is really cute. So have you ever wondered what Santa likes to do when his deliveries are done and Christmas Eve is through? Find out by joining him with in his exciting retelling of the 12 days of Christmas and discover a tale of festive adventures written by Alexandra Robinson. So that one's quite cute. And then the next one we've got is Jingle Bells. Jingle the horse longs to pull a glitzy sleigh just like his friends. One Christmas he goes in search of some sparkle, but everything seems to go wrong. Join Jingle in this festive story as he learns what's really important at Christmas. Written by Rosie Greening. Um, so that one's really cute. Uh, and the next one is the Christmas selfie contest, which I think is quite apt nowadays, particularly uh, because that tends to be the only way I get to have photos with my own children, is to have selfies. They, and they both love looking at themselves, so I think they'll quite like this one. Uh, Alfie the elf likes to be the best at everything, so when... You okay? Would you like a drink? Okay. So when Santa holds a Christmas selfie contest, Alfie is determined to win. Can he create the ultimate selfie or will it be a Christmas catastrophe? Find out in this festive, funny story all about the value of teamwork. And this is another one by Rosie Greening. So I quite like that one. Um, then we've got a very messy Christmas. Uh, Chip is the messiest elf in the North Pole and he longs to find a job he can do well. So when Santa needs someone to deliver a last minute gift... <coughs> you okay? Oh, yeah. Chip volunteers, but it isn't long until he runs into trouble. Will Chip prove he's a good elf or will he make a mess of things? Find out in this hilarious festive tale all about being yourself. And this is another rosy greening. And then this one is, oh no, Mr. Snowman. That looks like that. 
Oh no, Mr. Snowman, you can't come in here. Mr. Snowman wants nothing more than to come inside and play, but no matter where he goes, everything freezes. On Christmas Eve, the family are preparing for a Christmas party when disaster strikes. Can Mr. Snowman be the one to save the day? You okay? We watch. You watch. Do you want to go and get me a tissue, darling? Wait. Can you get me a tissue, please? It's for me, not you. Could you go get me a tissue? Thanks, buddy. Uh, on Christmas Eve, the family are preparing for a Christmas party when disaster strikes. Can Mr. Snowman be the one to save the day? Have fun joining in with the festive tale and searching for Mr. Snowman as he hides around the house. And that one's written by Nick Page. And then, uh, oh, no, it's not the last one. The Polar Bear Who Saved Christmas. Oh, and this one's got, uh, like, textured front, so that's, like, all glitter. That's quite cute. Uh, the polar bear who saved Christmas. When Pip the polar bear gets lost and wanders into Santa's grotto, he finds that, it, that disaster has struck and the elves are about to cancel Christmas. With time running out to deliver Santa's gifts, Pip embarks upon a magical and unforgettable adventure. And that's written by Fiona Boone. That one looks really cute. And then the last one in that pack of ten is What's a Christmas? One Christmas Eve, four little penguins make a surprising discovery in the snow. An elf has fallen out of Santa's sleigh. But what's even more surprising is that the penguins have never heard of elves or sleighs or Santa. And they have never, ever heard of Christmas. Join Ed the elf as he teaches his new friends what Christmas is all about. And this one is written by Hayley Down. You okay? Can I just say... This black eye, if you've seen it, was given to him by his sister. She hit him with a car, didn't she? She was very naughty and hit you in the face with a car, didn't she? I cry. And you cried, yeah. Do you want to get me a tissue? Go no away. Okay. Okay? Do you want to go over there and play then? Yeah? Oh. Go on there, good boy. Um, then the next lot of ten books that I got from um, the book people is the Mr. Men ten Christmas story books. Um, he was given a Mr. Men book set by one of our dear friends um, and it's um, about pirates, wizards and something else. So he really, really likes the uh, Mr. Men um, theme to it so these are all um, small, really really small ones as well which I think is quite cute um, so if I just go through um, those ones with you and then um, I can add in the extras that we already had that I've added into this so so this one is Mr. Men meet Father Christmas and Mr. Men the Christmas party and looking on the back these are all supposed to be £3.50 each and I think I paid what was it must have been about six or seven pounds I think I paid for the whole pack of ten because it came to 17 pounds something I think um, anyway this is Mr Men all aboard for Christmas Mr. Men, the Christmas tree. Mr. Men and the Silent Night. Mr. Men, a Christmas Carol. Because I love that. I love that story. Um, the next one is Mr. Men, the Night Before Christmas. So this might be one of the ones where I put it in. So we have the two Night Before Christmas books on the same night. If that makes sense. I haven't decided why I'm going to do that yet. Um, and Mr. Men Winter Sports, Mr. Men A Christmas Pantomime, that one looks like it's going to be quite funny, and finally Mr. Men A White Christmas. So that is all ten of those. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I will link down below what I can for you individually as well. If you'd like me to do that, I will try my very best. Um, the 
next few books that I've got, um, obviously that makes 20, the next um, few books that I've got are ones that we've already had. So um, this one was given um, as a Christmas present last year to Freddie because we, um, when Freddie was uh, a baby, we attended a baby sensory class and I also did the same class um, with Ivy. So they, um, with Freddie, I didn't um, get to go to the Christmas ones because um, I was back in work by then. Um, but obviously with Ivy, I had finished work. So I was able, and obviously due to when she was born, I was able to take her to the Christmas ones. And this was one of the books that um, I was given by the lovely lady that runs the classes there um, for Freddie. So wrapping the presents and this is one of the books that I was on about where it's like one sentences. So um, I'll put that in with another one as well but it is a lovely book um, and it's basically um, this here. I'm trying to find his name. I think it's Todd. Yeah, Todd is carefully wrapping a Christmas present for his baby sister Dot, but she's secretly watching simple rhyme and wonderfully warm pictures make this book emotionally rewarding to read or share together. Todd is the mascot for Toddler Sensory down here, and Dot is the mascot for Baby Sensory. Um, so it's basically just a Christmas story about them. So that's one that we already had. Are you okay, buddy? You yeah. lining all your cars up? I said I can hear him struggling to breathe um, and then this book I believe was a Christmas present for the first year from uh, one of my um, NCT mummy friends um, and it is uh, 10 Christmas wishes oh I was going to say stars then 10 Christmas wishes and Freddie actually loves this um, book and it's such a lovely little um, story um, he just likes it because on each page as they count up um, to, the, to the ten stars. They're different animals and he likes to tell me what the animals are. Um, so um, that is another one that I've added in. So that makes 22. Um, and then I bought this last year and I think it went in their uh, Christmas Eve box but I can't quite remember. Hello. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Lightning, yeah. Uh, it is Santa's suit. Um, and I'm trying to remember where I saw it, and I was like, I need to get that. It might even be have been at a baby sensory class. <gasps> Who's that? Jackson Storm, lovely. Um, and it's basically one of the uh, touchy feely books. Um, and it's just going through Santa, just feeling like he wants to change, he wants to wear a different colour suit other than green and it's just different textures um and ivy will absolutely love that you like this as well don't you uh, who's that cruise cruise um and then this one i definitely got in um i say they it was only freddie at the time um freddie's first ever christmas eve box was this hey dougie christmas um because this is an episode who's that purple car, purple car. Um, this is actually um, just the run through of the episode. Um, I I just I love reading this to them because it's you try and do the voices and they just think it's really funny. But who's that? A car, ice. Orange car. Um, but that will go in there as well. Um, that makes twenty four. I did say that I have other books. I actually started wrapping them already to show you guys what it will look like. Um, so these are two books that we already had. Um, William's Wish, I believe this one is. And I think this is, it was another gift from um, my NCT mummy friends. And something tells me it's like reading, it's like say goodnight to the snowy animals. That's what that one is. Um, so they will basically look like that and have one of these stickers on there. I can leave a link to these stickers if you like. Um, I just got them from eBay. They were loads of different ones, um, but I wanted quite um, neutral ones. They had quite uh, bright decorative ones, which I suppose I could have done because it's for the kids, but it's gonna be on show, so I want it to be quite smart. Plus, 
uh, they're actually not going to care as long as it's numbers. Um, but that is all the books that um, I've got for the um, book advent calendar. I have a massive roll. I said it was it was massive, but I've had this for uh, probably about four years now, so it's been dwindled right down. But I've just got a big roll of um, just brown packing paper I don't know um, and then I just measure the books out and then the cut off bits that I don't use actually conveniently fit the Mr Men ones in so I've left the cut offs there for my Mr Men books so yeah that is the books and you can see me um, putting them together now everything wrapped and the numbers stuck on um, it has taken me a lot longer than I anticipated um, because he decided he wasn't gonna have his lunch and then he wanted to have a sleep so I had to stop to take him upstairs whilst I was taking him upstairs you little madam decided to wake up so then she needed to have her lunch and I tried rapping when she was playing in the living room and that was just utter carnage trying <laughs> will you, will you shush, cheeky trying to stop her from um, getting the sellotape and the scissors and the paper and trying to rip open what I just wrapped um so I I started this at uh, 12 o'clock and it is now quarter to five but I've done it and, and hopefully they both enjoy it. She's not going to understand what's just happened. But I've said to Freddie now they're all wrapped. Mummy's going to send them to the North Pole for Father Christmas to keep hold of them until the elf comes to visit us. At the time of filming this, it is the beginning of November. But this will be going up the week um, before Christmas. Uh, before Christmas? The week before December. Don't even think about it, you. Don't even think about it. Come here then. And she's got it. Come here. Mm. Ow. So, you okay? Yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can, as I said earlier, link everything for you below. And that is it. Uh, the next time you shall see me shall hopefully be on Saturday for day, <laughs> for day one of Vlogmas. So, are we excited about Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited about Christmas? <laughs> Thrilled. Um, so please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the start of Vlogmas. You can say bye. Bye. You can say bye. You gonna wave? <laughs> Good job. You gonna wave? I can see you thinking about it. Yay! <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>